Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at an item from BT Industries, not to be confused with B and T, even though it does say that here, but there is also Brugger and Thome, totally different company. This is actually Bitter and Twisted out of Kansas. And they're also more known for AccuShot, the monopods, as well as the Atlas bipods. So that's what b and Industries is more known for. But today we're looking at something that they uh, issued as BT-62. This package is called the, the Terminator, but now it's uh, also called the Groupie. And uh, we'll get into uh, why in a second. I'm going to place that under the light. That's the actual device. And this is just the pouch that came in with the instructions. We'll take that off to eliminate some of the glare. Here you can see the instructions. So basically it's uh, for examining your targets uh, when you have fairly tight groups but you want to measure them quickly and you don't have a ruler handy. Because, uh, so basically you shoot three to five shots, lay the determinator over the shot group, adjust until one of the circles, you can see there's a whole bunch of concentric circles, Cross the center of the two outermost holes. Read measurement on that circle to determine group size. We got some contact info. Let's see if I can get that into view. And a little bit of notice of warning on safety. So let's take a closer look at the device. You can see here B and T Industries LLC AccuShot Monopod Atlas Bipod, as I said earlier. Uh, this side is smooth, so you can move it across the targets smoothly, and then this side is slightly etched to provide the detail on the measurements as well as uh, the circles. So if we go ahead and just pull up a sample set of targets here um, out of the scrap paper drawer. Uh, these are just some test, test runs. Um, let's just try to find one like this one. So if we take the two outermost holes, the left and right ones here, we try to center a circle on both of those. So this one here is the 0.5, the next one is 0.75. So this one is in between 0 0.75, 0 0.5 and 0.75, so we can call that like 0.66 of an inch group. This one might be a little bit easier to see. Center up on that one. See, that's outer to outer. That's too tight. So again, oh no. That's a half inch. If we go by this circle to that edge, am I reading it right? Might be favoring it a little. No, it looks like a half inch, a little bit more. This group is pretty ideal. Let's see if we can get into that one. Center to center. It's definitely not a quarter inch. That's the middle one right there. So, but it's smaller than a half inch. So somewhere between a quarter inch and a half inch. So we can call that what three eighths of an inch. And. Let's measure this weird one here. It looks like it, this is a five shot group, two printed right here on this wider hole, and then you got three separate ones. So let's try to measure this one. Uh, outermost, I got a circle on that one. It's a little bit beyond that point. So it's in between 0.5 and. No, correction. Let me recenter this. I might be reading this a little bit off here. What I may actually do too is I may highlight every other one of these, the ones with the uh, actual measurement on it, so I can actually differentiate between the in between measurements. But getting back to this, sorry. Uh, Looks like it's a little bit less than 0.75 because there's the f 0.5. So it's 
So this one is also about 0.66, similar to this one that we started off here. So just some example groups, give you another closer look at the circles here. Another neat feature is this, uh, in case you happen to drop this outdoors, uh, in the daytime it should be pretty easy to see because this is fairly reflective so if you move your position you should be able to catch some sort of light reflection on this. But let's say you drop this in the dark uh, if uh, this had been say uh, in sunlight for some amount of time I believe this cord you see here glows in the dark so it's a ni nice little feature there so again, we're just taking a quick look at BT-62 from b and Industries, makers of the AquaShot monopod and the Atlas bipod. But this is what was issued as the Determinator, now also known as the Groupie. So check them out. We also have a variety of other items and apparel as well. This has been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on vintage mill syrup tools and other expanded topics. We also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review, media reviews, and also a series called Curios for the Curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.